Hello, my most amazing artists, and happy Tuesday. You've made it. We're only a few more days until Christmas. We only have 11 more days until Christmas Day. Before I talk about what we're going to make and show you how to draw it, I want to congratulate our artist leaderboard winner for today, it's Ziomara. Congratulations, Ziomara. You did an amazing job on your blind Picasso portrait. Everybody's submissions, even if I didn't say your name, was fantastic. They were funny, they were colorful, and most of all, it looks like you guys had fun. All right, today we are going to be working on our symmetry and asymmetry by making a symmetrical picture of the nativity. And the nativity is a scene that represents when Jesus was born. So I thought maybe I should read about the story of the birth of Jesus Christ. I'm going to read it from the Bible. I am in Luke. It's chapter 2 of Luke. And in honor of Christmas, here is the story of the birth of Jesus Christ. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea of Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find this baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left then and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured all of these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. All right, that was the story of the nativity and of Jesus' birth. Now, we're going to need some paper, you're going to need a pencil, and if you have colors, you're going to need something to color with because we're going to go ahead and draw a picture of the nativity. All right, let's get started. All right, to start this project, you're going to need a piece of paper and you're going to need a pen or a pencil or something to draw with. We're going to start by drawing the ground. So come to the bottom of your paper and you're going to draw a line all the way across the bottom of your paper to represent the ground. Now, since we're working with symmetry, we want to be thinking of drawing things in pairs or drawing things that are balanced. So we're going to start by looking at our paper and drawing a long straight line that goes up towards the top of our paper and we want to stop Mm, maybe about a thumb length away or more from the top of your paper to leave room up in the sky. Since we're making something that is balanced, if I draw something over here, I have to draw it over here. So I'm going to draw another straight line going up towards the sky. 
and I'm gonna stop it kind of at the same length. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a diagonal line that goes up and towards the center of my paper. And I'm gonna do the same thing against the other side. So up and towards the center of my paper. Kind of like a big letter A, or capital letter A. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw a copycat line on the inside of this image. So I'm gonna draw a straight line coming up, and I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. A straight line coming up, and I stop near the top of my paper. Then, because I'm doing a copycat line, I'm gonna make this line right here on the inside. Going up, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Going up this way. Oops, I need to connect them. There we go. Now we have the outside of where Jesus will be born, the stable. Let's draw our Jesus. Let's draw our baby Jesus. In the center of the stable, I'm going to draw a letter X right in the center of our stable. Draw a letter X in the center of your stable. You wanna make sure your letter X doesn't take up the whole stable because this is going to be where we put baby Jesus and we don't want him to be a giant. So we want him to be small like a baby. On top of this X, in between both of these parts right here, we're going to draw a zigzag line. And that is going to be the top of the hay. Now we're gonna draw baby Jesus. For baby Jesus, I'm going to draw a curved lowercase letter n for his head. And then I'm going to draw a curved line that goes from the bottom of his head down all the way to the end of the X. And this is gonna be his body. I'm gonna draw some curved lines across his body like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw Jesus's, baby Jesus's face. To draw baby Jesus's face, I'm going to draw a letter U and another letter U right next to it. For his two closed eyes, I'm gonna draw a straight line with a little letter A, capital letter A at the end for his nose. Maybe I'll give him a little smile. Oh, he looks so peaceful. If you want, you can add some texture to the hay by using some short lines to make this look more like hay. Adding some texture with your pencil. We've been talking about texture is one of our elements of art. So we use elements of art. We use texture to make it look more like hay. What we can do now is we can come back to our letter X and we can make our letter X a little bit more substantial. So find the end of baby Jesus and we're gonna draw a straight line that comes down right here towards the bottom of your paper. Then you're gonna make a copycat line that copies the diagonal of the X all the way down to the end of the paper. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Find the end of baby Jesus's head, draw a line down from it, and then you're gonna make a copycat line that mirrors that letter X. So now this wood looks a lot more substantial, like it could really hold this baby Jesus right here. All right, the next thing that we're going to add is we're going to add Mary and Joseph. We're thinking about making something that's symmetrical, so if you split this down the middle, we want to make sure that it's balanced, that there's a character on both sides. So let's start by drawing Mary. And we'll draw Mary on this side by drawing a big lowercase letter N. And then stop when you get to baby Jesus. Hop over, imagine you're hopping through. Finish your line down there at the bottom. And then we're gonna draw Joseph. So let's draw another lowercase letter N on the other side for Joseph. 
lowercase letter n all the way down to the bottom. And I realize this lowercase letter n doesn't start because it stops at baby Joseph. So we hop over baby Joseph and we bring it all the way down, baby Jesus, and we bring it all the way down to the bottom. All right, so this is Mary and this is Joseph. We're gonna add Mary's head. So draw a lowercase letter u for Mary's head and a lowercase letter u for Joseph's head. You can see that whatever we draw on this side, we've been drawing on that side. So we have two people. All right, let's add some details to Joseph. I'm gonna add a straight line across the top of his head. Remember, if I'm ever going too fast, you can pause the video or rewind it so you can hear what I'm saying or so that you can catch up. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curved line, kind of like a frowny face line on the top of Jesus' head, just like that. Now I might draw some hair coming out from under Jesus' hat, Jesus, Joseph's head. So we're gonna draw some hair. I'm gonna use some lines to make some hair coming out from under Joseph's hat. I think I was calling him Jesus earlier, but we know who this is. And then we can add two eyes. I'm gonna draw two letter O's. And inside of those letter O's, I'm gonna draw two smaller letter O's. And we can color them in. Now, if you have a better way of drawing eyes, you can draw your eyes in a totally different way. You have no reason why you need to draw the eyes this way. If you like to draw your eyes in a different way, go ahead. Let's add a nose. I'm gonna draw a letter C, a backwards letter C for Joseph's nose, and I'm gonna give him a little smile because he's probably pretty happy to see baby Jesus. All right, let's give him two ears. I'm going to draw a letter D on one side of his head and a letter C coming out from the other side of his head. All right, now I'm gonna finish the top of Joseph's head by drawing another straight line across his hat. And then I think we should give Joseph a beard. What do you guys think? I think he should have a beard. I'm gonna give Joseph a beard. Oh yeah, he looks pretty good. All right, underneath Joseph's beard, we're gonna draw a letter V for the neck of Joseph's shirt. And then across his body, we're going to draw a straight line for his belt and a copycat line right underneath for the bottom of his belt, like that. All right, he's looking pretty good. You could add arms if you wanted to. You could add more details to his robe if you wanted to. But I'm gonna stop here because I want to move on to Mary. So let's come back to Mary. We drew two eyes, a nose and a mouth, and some hair and some ears, and we wanna put those things on Mary. Thinking about balance, we probably don't need to give Mary a beard, obviously, but we do wanna make sure that Mary looks like a human, just like Joseph does. So let's go ahead and draw the top of Mary's hat with a straight line, and then we can give Mary some hair. So I'm going to draw two curved lines on either side of her head and fill that in for some hair. And then I'm going to draw a frowny line or a curved line on the top of her head to be the top of her headpiece or her headscarf. I'm gonna draw another straight line all the way across and then I'm going to bring the top of her headscarf down. So I'm gonna start at the top of where her head and her hat meet, and I'm gonna draw a straight line that comes down, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Start at where her head and her hat meet, and I'm gonna draw a straight line that comes down. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a line that goes from 
the bottom of her headscarf to her head like this and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side we also might want to give her ears a letter C and a letter D will do the trick for some ears if you wanted to add more hair maybe you want to have her hair sticking out you could draw some more hair back here if you want maybe you could see a little bit more of her hair if you would like to add some more hair now we need to give her a face let's draw two big letter O's for eyes and inside those letter O's we're gonna draw two smaller letter O's all right she's looking pretty cute I'm gonna use a backwards letter C for her nose and I'm gonna give her a little smile too you might want to give her some eyelashes if you want you could give them eyebrows don't forget to give some eyebrows to them if you have a different way of drawing faces like I said before you're more than welcome to draw a different sort of face you certainly don't have to draw a face like I've shown you you can draw your face however you would like all right the next step we're going to do is we're going to draw a letter V underneath Mary's head for her neck and then just like on Joseph's body we're going to draw a straight line across for her belt. I'm going to draw another straight line right on top of that. Now you can add way more details here if you want. You can give them arms, you can add more details to their belt or to their tunic. Up to you, completely up to you. We might want to keep going so that we can add some more details to our whole picture though. All right, let's think about adding a star up at the top above our nativity. And since we're thinking about making something symmetrical, we wanna make sure our star is also symmetrical. So here's what we're gonna do. At the very top of the stable, we're gonna draw a letter V. Then, coming out from the right side of the letter V, we're going to draw a letter V, but it's laying on its side. I want you to do the same thing on the other side. Find the top of the letter V here, and we're gonna draw another letter V coming out, but it's laying on its side. Then we're gonna finish by drawing an upside down letter V, or kind of like a capital letter A. Now, what we can do to make this star more interesting is we can add some copycat lines inside Or we could add some lines of light on the outside. One, two, three, four. Whatever I do on this side, I want to add on this side. One, two, three, four. All right, because we're thinking about making something symmetrical. There are other things we might want to add to this picture, but whatever you guys add to this picture, make sure if you add something on this side, you want to add something on this side to keep it balanced. For example, if on this side I'm going to draw a shepherd, I might draw a big lowercase letter n for my shepherd's body, and then a letter u for my shepherd's head, a backward c, and a forward c for some ears, and a straight line across for the top of my shepherd's hat. I'm gonna finish with a curved line at the top and a straight line right across for the top of our shepherd's hat. And maybe our shepherd is wearing a headscarf kind of like Mary is. So we're gonna start at the bottom of his hat and we're gonna bring a line down. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Start at the top of his head, the bottom of his hat, and bring a straight line coming down. Now we want to connect those to his shoulders with a straight line that connects from the diagonal line to his shoulder and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. He is looking good. Let's give him some eyes. Big letter O's for eyes. Smaller letter O's inside of it. Alright. Maybe some eyebrows. A letter C for a nose smile on his face. 
He's looking pretty good. Let's give him a letter V for the bottom of his collar and a straight line across his middle for his belt and another copycat line right on top of that. Maybe we want to put a sheep with him. So we're gonna draw a cloud close to the ground. And then at the front of the cloud, I want you to draw a letter C and connect that letter C to the cloud. Boop. We're gonna put a letter U on the corner for an ear and then a dot on the front for an eye. Maybe another little dot for a nose and a little smile for a mouth. Then we're gonna add some legs, one line down and another line to be one leg, a straight line down and another line to be the other leg. And maybe we want a little tail at the end. So I'm gonna draw a backwards letter C right at the end for the little tail in the back. All right, since we have two things on this side, we wanna put two things on this side so it's not unbalanced. You might want to add an angel over here. Maybe you want to add a tree over here. We have two things here, so we want to put two things over here. Maybe I could add an angel. You might want to add an angel. Maybe you want to add another animal, like a donkey. I'm adding an angel like so. I'm drawing an angel's head drawing an oval on top for the halo and a smaller oval inside for the inside part of the halo. Then I might draw a letter C for an ear, a backwards letter C for an ear, two letter O's for eyes, put two smaller letter O's inside of it. I can draw a round backwards letter C for a nose, a smile on my angel's face, Maybe I want this angel's tunic to look different, so I'm gonna draw a straight line across the middle and another straight line underneath. And then, instead of maybe a V, maybe I will draw a diagonal line starting at one end and going all the way up to his shoulder. Boop, 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 just like that. Well, that looks pretty good. All right, then maybe I wanna add some wings the way I like to draw wings is I like to draw a curved line coming out from the shoulder, kind of like a letter R, like a big letter R. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. A curved line, kind of like a backwards letter R. Then, coming down from our letter R, I'm gonna draw a letter U. I'm gonna add another letter U next to it and another letter U next to that. And I'm gonna keep adding letter U's until I get to the angel's body. And I'll do the same thing for the other side, a long letter U and another long letter U attached. And another long letter U and then another long letter U and maybe one more. And then I've gotten right to my angel's body I have an angel, I have a shepherd, and I have a sheep on this side, so we wanna make sure this is balanced. So maybe we could put an animal on this side. We have a sheep, what other kind of animal might we put on this side? Maybe we will put a lamb, we could put a baby sheep or a lamb. To draw a lamb, I'm going to draw a backwards letter C, and then I'm gonna draw a lowercase letter n right on top. This is gonna be my lamb's head. I'm gonna draw a little dot for my lamb's eye and a little round nose for my lamb's nose. Then we're gonna give our lamb a body. So coming back from the ear, I'm gonna draw a curved line that comes out and curves back all the way around the body. And then I'm gonna draw some lines coming down, two straight lines, put a line in the middle for his belly, another straight line, and a 
another straight line just like that. And then I'm just gonna connect those lines together to be the neck. Maybe put a little cotton ball tail on the end of our sheep, our baby sheep, our lamb. Give our lamb a smile. Now we have an animal on either side, a person on either side, making it symmetrical. And we have Mary on one side, Joseph on the other, making them symmetrical around baby Jesus. And even the letter X is the same on both sides and our star is symmetrical as well. All right, my friends, I am going to let you finish this picture however you want. You can add other details, you could add other characters. You don't have to draw exactly this either. If you want to, you don't have to draw exactly this either. If you wanted to add different characters on either side, or maybe put mountains and trees, you're more than welcome to do that. You can also add other details like color to your picture to make it look finished. All right, my friends, we have drawn our symmetrical nativity scene. It is your job to take a picture of your symmetrical nativity and post it to Schoolology. All right, friends, make sure you post that picture. I will see you again on Wednesday. Have a great day. Bye.